Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and today I'm back with another Godzilla figure review. So today we're going to be reviewing the Godzilla vs. Kong, Godzilla with Radio Tower. So... I'm not going to go too much about this figure, maybe this video might be rather 2 minutes long or just 3 minutes long because well, this figure is kind of the same as the other one that I just reviewed. <clears throat> so yes, and this is my new review table, so I'm no longer going to be reviewing right next to my window because I kind of felt that was kind of weird. So. Yeah, anyways, moving on. So, like I said before, I'm not going to go into too much about this figure. Mainly, I'll go over the paint job and all that stuff. And I'll go over the, obviously, radio tower, which is the only success rate it came with. So, yeah. Obviously, you guys know that it has the same amount of articulation. Same battle damage. And, uh, yeah. The only difference is it's just a bit more brighter color. And another thing is that the spines are not as translucent. But they still are flashing blue. Which, this gets me to wonder, when it comes to this particular Godzilla, are they going to add like blue dorsal spines on his back all, all the time? Because so far, every Godzilla figure I have encountered that is basically this guy, rather from Bandai or, or from... NECA, they always seem to like be a big fan of this Godzilla's charging up atomic breath ability. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess. So, oh my god. But, you guys know, about, it has the same amount of detailing, same amount of articulation, same battle damage, the only difference is, well, the spines are not translucent, and it's a bit more brighter color than the other one was. Plus, it comes with this, so we're going to go over more into this. So, this is the radio tower. Um, I was hoping we're going to see a scene in Godzilla vs. Kong where Godzilla is attacking a radio tower. So that would be kind of ironic, because, well, the first Godzilla, like, in, like, the, like the 1954 film... I think they showed Godzilla attacking a radio tower. So it's kind of hoping that they're going to do this, the exact same thing for Godzilla vs. Kong. Plus, it looks like you can actually have Godzilla... Hang on, let's see if I can... There we go. You can, like, have Godzilla, like, grab this and just, like, use this as a weapon. It would be kind of funny to see Godzilla showing this a bunch up in Kong's throat. It would be kind of funny, but no, they always had to go for good Kong. Shoving things up into Godzilla's throat. So, yeah. And you see that the area looks like it did got grabbed or bit in that. But, but mostly, it looks like it got grabbed by something. Or from someone. So, yeah. I'm just going to bring in a, a little size comparison. So, here he is with the, um, Schleich, um, Barapasaurus. Obviously, he's clearly the same size so as the other figure, so, yeah. I'm gonna take him off. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to have a mad gorgeous era with excellence. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.